skies are darkening. The sea is looking ever choppier, and we've still got three races to go. The first of which is the Colway Tyres final. A split grid because there are cars of two engine capacities in this, and away they go with already a little bit of leaning going on. Craig Bell of his Golf there is the one which runs onto the grass. Meantime, the leaders make their way uphill with, in the lead at the moment, 8-10. That's Paul G. Vauxhall Astra is the car in the lead. Chasing on after him in second place is Andy Reid. And downhill they go for the first time. Paul G from Andy Reid and then Craig Bellamy in third in the Mark II Volkswagen Golf GTI. The cars bounce their way across the loose. Colway Tiles Championship, a low cost way of getting involved in rally cross. The second grid makes its way off the line now. And we'll see in a moment who makes the best start as the cars accelerate off now uphill. Paul G, it is, in the lead of the first grid that we've seen, and there his brother John G in 866 leads as his car now makes its way up to the hairpin. Hard on the brakes. Look at the way that the rear wheels lock up. Lots of smoke off the tyres, and somebody else there running wide coming into the corner. That's Ian Watson with his Vauxhall Nova. Downhill they go then for the first time in what promises to be a very lively race indeed, but there is the man who leads the race overall. Paul G, it is, with the Vauxhall Astra. Chasing after him is still Andy Reid. You can see how windy it is there as the grass is blown across the circuit. G from Reed, Astra's first and second. Craig Bell of his golf is still tucked up in third, but not looking as though he's going to get close enough to challenge. John G, meantime, leaves the other part of the race with Phil Baines in the ubiquitous tool that some of you charging on after him. Up across the line they go, and in a straight line, the younger Vauxhall is able to pull away, isn't it? One class for two litre cars, one for 1600cc cars, and John G, it is there holding off the sunbeam behind him. Touches the kerb, and that's going to tear it for him, is it? Because he leaves the door open and clicks the kerb and gets touched into a roll, and John G goes all the way over, finds a gear. Surely he can't carry on. He's going to try. If he does, he's a very good man indeed. John G hoping to rejoin the race. Now, here's what happened. Look, he went wide, came in. There was a touch between the two cars. Then he clipped the kerb, and a combination of the two and the kerbing launches John G into a roll. The car doesn't look too badly damaged, but the suspension they've got to take the lock as his brother, namely Paul G, comes over to win. Second across the line is Andy Reid and Craig Bellamy takes third. Well, a different day for the G family.